Hello Aries, this is your reading for the month of June for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Aries for June? So show me what's going on for Aries for June. Ace of Wands there. That's a good start for June. Feeling creative. Feeling like you want to do something new. Um, some of you, if you haven't had intimate relations for a while, I feel some of you getting involved in, in relationships or situations where um, you're attracted to someone here. What's crossing my Aries? Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are starting new businesses that you're investing in, um, or you've already started something. But there's definitely like this feeling of of accomplishing something new, investing in something. Uh, it could definitely be a new relationship for a lot of you guys. Some of you have been waiting on someone to come around, okay? And I feel like. Um, there's something that's, that's opening up, some avenue that's opening up for you. This is Taurus energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. So what's challenging you guys, I feel, is to take a leap of faith and invest your time, your energy into a situation here. What is the underlying issue here for Aries? Underlying issue for Aries is a five of swords hear them out because i feel like somebody you feel like has done you wrong somebody um so with this relationship this is somebody that you have some sort of history with okay so somebody has done you wrong and i feel like you guys wanting some reprieve you wanting um not to get back at them but it's like you've been waiting for them to be vulnerable to to act like they um, feel bad about what they've done to you and I, I feel like if you want this person if you wanted this person before you may have had some time to heal you may have had some time to like move on from them so they don't affect you like they used to but if you still have feelings for them and you want to build something with them um, don't fight fire with fire because I feel like that's like the issue here that's going to hold you back if if you truly want something with this person not to do to them what they did to you okay so that's Aquarius energy there with the Five of Swords. The recent past here is the Ace of Swords. Two Aces side by side. This is you coming to a realization that you know yourself. You know this situation. And you know what the hell is going on right now. Okay? Like, your eyes are open. You're fully aware of, of how you need to move, um, what position you're in right now. You know you're in a good position. Okay. Crowning thoughts here for Aries. Crowning thoughts for Aries is the King of Wands. You will be in control. That's where your mind is right now, is not letting anybody phase you. Sometimes when people do things, you know, we let it affect us. We let it determine our mood. Um, you do not want to allow anybody else to, to determine your mood. You will be in control of this situation. It's what you do with it that determines how it plays out for you, though. Okay? Could definitely be another air uh, fire sign that is um, significant to you. Um, but yeah, you definitely have the upper hand. What's coming in? The moon. Cancer energy there. Could be a Leo Cancer. That's significant. Aquarius, Taurus. Um, excuse me, I feel like there's a fixed energy here. For you guys you guys are cardinal energy but i feel like there's a fixed energy somebody that um likes things their way they have a hard time budging even if they know you're right they're not going to let you know they're right you're right they have to come to it on their own like they're not 
they can't be moved these people okay so the moon is what's coming in for you something that you won't see something that's going to be very unclear to you a lot of emotions and feelings and and ups and downs okay so regardless of how controlled you want to be I see you having some sort of vulnerability here because your emotions are going to kind of be um, you know not that stable with the moon energy okay how is Aries viewing this situation the will of fortune that's Pisces and Sagittarius' energy there with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you feel like it's changing. You feel like it's about time, though. Because I feel like for some of you, you have you felt like you were down on your luck, that um, you were on the losing side. But things are turning around for you is how you're viewing this situation. What is the influence here for Aries? The influence for Aries. What is the influence for Aries? The hanged man or the hanging man, which is also Piscean energy. Um, the situation has not been going anywhere. You've not been getting anywhere with this person. Uh, maybe both of you for a while haven't spoken to each other and um, it, it just kind of went stagnant and stale. But I do feel like right now at this moment during the month of June that you guys are really just wanting things to play out the way that they're supposed to play out without any influence from you okay because I feel like before you've really tried to influence the situation you've really tried to make things better and to no avail so it's like you just kind of taking your hands off of it and like what will be will be I'm not making any extra effort with this person um, they're gonna have to work for it it's what I see here Hopes or fears for Aries. Hopes or fears for Aries. Ten of Cups. Well, we know what that is. I mean, you want to be happy. You want to be totally fulfilled. But you want it to go both ways. I do get that you guys put a lot into a relationship with this person. And it left you feeling like crap. Okay? I do see you being in your feelings, though, because I see a lot of Piscean energy here, and I feel like that's your energy. Um, but yeah, you just want to be happy. What is the overall outcome here for Aries? Overall outcome for Aries. Oh, King of Cups there. King of Cups. That is Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy. Somebody is full of emotion. And I feel like this is the other person. Now, let me say this. Because, you know, the feminine and the masculine energy are what complement each other. You're wanting to come in as a king of wands. This person's coming in as the king of cups. Two kings. That's masculine energy. So whether or not you're male, female, or whatever, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But we can't both be kings at the same time. Because that's where we're going to butt heads. Because we both want control. And that will get in the way. Um, and then you're looking away from each other here. I do feel like this person is going to be in their feelings with it because they're not used to you, the new you. They're not used to you being so um, headstrong and not wearing your heart on your sleeve, I feel. This person's coming in wearing their heart on their sleeve. But I feel like once they see the new you, it's going to throw them off um, and they're going to be more in their feelings because the king of cups is very emotional it does not mean that they are romantic or what have you it just means that they are emotional they can be angry they can be upset you know so i do see this person um wanting what you want wanting that that ten of cups but they're expecting you to be the same person that you were before and you're just not 
because of whatever happened between the two of you. And I feel like it's this five of swords, but this person started this. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.